So let's imagine now you have a session with application team uh, as a part of your architecture uh, sessions. And you no know, application team told you, no, we have, we need to select one of storage type. Uh, so we need to help us as a cloud architect. So, uh, so you have to ask them what is requirement for this application. Now he told you, no, um, uh, we need Azure, uh, we need to use Azure files uh, to store our data and the applications to store this data, it's, we, we need some requirement. Actually, it will be three requirement. First one will be must support SMB. Second, it was support uh, uh, 90,000 uh, 90, uh, IOPS. Uh, and also the third one or last one will be uh, must provide the 2GB uh, of bandwidth. So how we can choose? So I think now you try to go with the two options. I have to go with a prime, prime uh, 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 type or to go with uh, a standard. So if you go with standard, you will go with a hot uh, or cool. So which way you have to go? Because as you know, if you go with this way or this way, there is dependency and there is will be affect our cost as we mentioned before. But we have three requirements. How we can achieve this requirement? Again, will be must support SMB, will must support 19,000 uh, IOPS. Uh, the uh, last one will be must provide 2GB for bandwidth. So let's think and let's go with uh, Azure portal to try to explain how we can uh, select it the right way for the customer application. So if we go here and select for storage account and try to create a storage account and we selected subscription, we selected the resource group, we selected, we, uh, we, write, uh, uh, the, we write the name for storage account. Uh, okay, then and we go here for regions and also we will stock gear for standard or premium but we have some of requirement as we mentioned again we need uh, we need uh, these applications as we work with application team and he mentioned uh, three things here first one we must support SMB must support uh, 19 uh, IOPS must support TGB so it's, it's a number, you know, it's, it's a standard number for Microsoft. So did you, did you know uh, how it's supported for standards? It supports 20, 20, uh, 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 29,000 for IOBS. But for premium, it's, it's like 100,000 IOBS. So it's differentiate between this, the first one. So I have to select it premium here because the requirement of the customer told me we need the IBS should be supported 19 IBS. So I have to go with premium because standard it will have it just only 20,000 for IBS. And also uh, for a bandwidth it, uh, uh, here, premium, it's supported for 2GB bandwidth. And the main very important one here to select it premium, it was must support SMB and to have to achieve with customer. So I, if you go with customer and I know the customer, you know, we have standards. If you go with a standard here and you select it, you know, you have hot, uh, uh, hot and it's frequently accessed data uh, and call it infrequently accessed data. But if you go with a basic uh, here and we selected premium, you will not find uh, this kind of option because this will be a public storage or a file or data lake. So you have to listen to customer in uh, during the session to uh, to try to provide him the proper solution. Again, the customer, our application team. Uh, uh, told you we need uh, the application we need to store our Azure files and so that's why uh, we need to uh, using premium based on supported SMB support 19 IOS supported 2GB so let's recap here uh, why we we uh, which was premium account so first one 
uh, we should in our situations uh, when we talk with application team when in during um, the architecture session uh, or workshop we should uh, recommend it to uh, to select the premium tier of Azure's file which is supported SMB can provide high ops and the bandwidth and design it for performance sensitive workload because you know Azure Fire Premium tier offering high performance and low latency and uh, seekable capacity for IOPS instant workload, which provide three things. First one, we have discussed that, that with customer and to be clear with customer at three point. First one, high OOPS and throughout, uh, because Azure File uh, Premium tier provide up to 1000 IOPS and 2 GB for throughout per share. Second, also support SMB protocol. Uh, Azure file uh, files support the SMB protocol, which allow us to access the files as if they were on a file server. The last one, which will be a good for customer also, you have to be clear and try to be explained to your application team for a cost effective. It will be discovered because uh, everyone, you know, a premium will be, uh, oh, that will be a cost. No, the cost effective because a premium tier is a cost effective when compared to use multiple standard storage account for the same amount of capacity and performance. So it means it means all your storage requirement for high ops and, and high bandwidth at SMB support. However, it's also important to note that the, uh, the, there may uh, additional factors to consider such as a total uh, storage size and the cost for operations and uh, so on. So may maybe uh, overall costing should be evaluated with application and based on uh, scenarios customer or maybe you have another uh, scenarios customer. Uh, I hope this video uh, uh, useful for you. Uh, and if you have any uh, doubt or have any questions, uh, I hope you can drop me a comment here and uh, I will be very happy to answer to you. Uh, thank you for everyone.